All right, today we're gonna to be working on this coffee table. It's already got a good design. It's got the uh, individual board look, which gives it a good coastal appearance. So we're going to give it, uh, we're basically gonna go through it since it's already got a tint. It's a yellowish white, uh, maybe an antique white. We're gonna go over it, just brushing through, highlighting it with some white, giving it some wood grain effect. And then we may go over it with a um, third color to give it some more of a driftwood appearance. And then the top, each individual, each individual board on the top, we're going to do with a, make it look like a different color, giving it uh, an appearance of different, maybe a driftwood style or different coastal planks from an old beach fence or something like that. So that's what we're gonna be working on today. All right, we're starting out with uh, this section of the drawer and we're just gonna be dry brushing through this. I'm trying to apply too much paint in one place and we're gonna be dry brushing this through, creating an effect. Like I say, we don't want too much paint on it to actually try to cover it and turn it completely white. We're gonna use some of the color that's below it to give it some wood effect so and I'll probably take these drawers off to get into the sections behind it that are hard to reach so you can see I'm using the brush to pull this all in the same direction so that it's like the wood grains moving through these sections here lightly gonna brush it for now but um, and I don't care if I get paint on here because I'm going to paint this whole section anyway and I'll probably use some white to give it different effects so this section here you can see going let's see if I can get this drawer the wood grain would probably run downward like this and then on the bottom part it would run this way so creating that keeping that realism in there so before I get too far I got to hit I got to hit this area which is going to mess up your and then come back so I do that corner area and then I'm going to come back and keep my wood grain lines moving in the same direction. Like I say, I'm gonna to have to remove these drawers. Look at this process here. And you can see it's very simple, but it is a matter of keeping your lines moving in the correct direction. And pulling these things down. Like I say, the I was just gonna whitewash this. Um, I would do this technique a little different with thinner paint. Create a different effect. So go through this way first because the paint's going to blob out on you. See this fill this in and then I'm going to drag this down here, this down into straight lines. I want to keep that appearance. I'll keep the appearance of driftwood, of wood, the wood grain. So, these are super simple techniques to use to create an effect from maybe some old furniture that's no longer appealing. And sometimes when you first start out, it looks like, you know, this, this is never gonna turn out. What is this guy doing? And then when you're finally done, you've got a very cool looking piece of furniture that you can put in your house or that someone would actually buy from you. So, so usually if you were just to do this, you could get an effect that would look pretty cool. Um, you know, some people are very, very retentive, let's just say, about 
you know, OCD about things being perfect. But I found that it's not necessary to get a semi-realistic look by trying to be too perfect because wood's not perfect. So this is a great technique, great technique to use um, to create these effects. So these, you can see the general idea of this. So I'll catch you up on the other parts, but I'll let you see. Drag these drawers back in. Let's see what the board down below is gonna look like dragging these lines through. So like I say, this is dry brushing. Where I'm not trying to not trying to make the paint fully cover everything. I want some of the I want some of the color, the original color to show through. And I'll tell you too, so this is a very long brush. And when you're painting these tables and stuff, often the brush will hit and that can affect uh, that can kind of affect the uh, ability to create the type of straight lines and um, flow quickly through your project. You're constantly bumping into the top and you're not really noticing you're doing it. So I'll probably switch out brushes here before I completely finish this. So here we are starting on. This will dry. It'll get a little thinner. Um, also note that when you go to put uh, your top coat on these types of things, the original paint or the paint you're putting on will thin out and whatever's underneath will show through more. So you want to actually putting a little more paint on uh, than you think you should ends up creating a better effect because even this, as this is starting to dry, you see the yellowish paint from the original starting to show through. Um, so that's just, you gotta keep an eye on it and see what you think. I'll bring you back when I get a little farther along. All right, so we're through the first stage of just lightly putting on the initial coat of white, dragging the lines through, creating a wood grain effect by leaving some of the color coming back out of it and then we'll follow up by dragging another color through here probably a grayish and then that will give it a trickery to the eye and look like wood so what I be I've begun now working on the top so you can see that the top has um, the top has a color to it already light brown it's already kind of uh, a beachy color it is, as it is, but I'm going to add uh, kind of a faux stain appearance to it. So what's, what I'm doing is I'm dry brushing this gray on here and leaving some of the wood showing through. And I'm going to use maybe a couple different colors uh, going across here. So I'll try to show you. I'm basically dipping the brush and I'm not trying to completely cover this. I'm just trying to drag it out so that it thins. It'll thin out across here and I want the color of the original wood to shine through. I don't want to cover everything. And I'll paint this out. And so what's happening is, you know, and I can add more later if I want to, but I'm trying to get the color out of it and make it look like it's been worn over a long time wearing the paint off, like a well-loved look, or that it's been distressed for a long time because of weather from the ocean, you know, and exposure. So don't worry about this kind of stuff. I've, this stuff on here, you can run right over it with a sander and buzz it right off, right? Or just hand sand, it comes right off. So some people freak out about that after you've done enough you, know, you just don't care anymore like that you know you can just use little tricks and get stuff off if if you try to tape all these things off and do all that kind of stuff people sand the furniture all the way down and you know these super time consuming things you'll have six hundred dollars of work in a two hundred dollar piece of furniture so there are people who are OCD and like to do that stuff like that 
I like to I like to make something look good without having to be completely OCD about it. So okay, this is the stage we're at now, and I'll show you what it looks like in a little while. Okay, so now I'm using a lighter shade of gray, dry brushing, and so uh, sometimes your brush or the paint itself will start to uh, go on a little thick or sticky or try it'll try to apply too thick some areas and that's when I suggest having a water bottle and you just spray a couple spritzes of water and your paint will spread way fast and your paint will sp spread way faster like that and it will thin and help with a the stain appearance of it um, so here we are streaking this out and we're giving it that uh, a driftwood look coming across here I'm not sure I like these two colors blended together yet but uh, we'll kind of see when we get closer to the end all right all right now I'm going to do a technique to really disguise the eye and I'm going to alternate I'm going to on the dark gray part I'm going to use the lighter gray color to drag through uh, wood grains. I'm gonna uh, dry brush this through here. I'm gonna work this to, I really kind of want to spread it out. I want to get blobbed too much in one area. Just want to kind of spread it out. But So just barely touch the edge and you can drag that across like this. Start making a wood grain look through there. See that? So this is a little too, I don't know, maybe fine. You drag it out, more dry brush through it. It'll, you know, like I say, when you step back from it, uh, it'll, you're making it look like worn paint. So, worn paint is not perfect. So, barely dragging it through. And these rough bristle, bristled brushes do great for creating. I didn't like the gray and the amount of wood showing through it. Didn't have enough color. So, Decided to lighten it up and give it a little more fill because I knew when I put the top coat on it to seal this it would just bleed completely through and that would not look good you'd waste your time so now I'm just doing the effects where I'm creating more of a blended wood grain driftwood look uh, let's say that just once this gray dried the <clears throat> the light gray didn't seem to do it but once the gray dried it it was coming out this is why you just got to be creative with stuff so I'm just blending in the lighter on top of the darker now and uh, that blend you know it'll, that blend gives you the illusion of driftwood. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to now use the same brush, lightly dip into the gray. The gray seems to be a little more dominant on color, so I'm going to lightly pull this to start with and see what I think it looks like. So keep working with this lightly and see where this goes. Sometimes the, the wood that's underneath, so let's say it starts blobbing up a lot. I'll just keep moving it around till I streak it out, more of a blend in there. So a lot of times what happens is once something dries and the colors mix, you can get certain things, a pinkish look or a different, totally different color you didn't intend on bringing out with the wood. So. Um, sometimes that's good, and then sometimes, sometimes it's not what you know. Pink is not 
most favorable color in the room unless it's really like a salmon and you're going for a very powerful look you know for a beachy look I like to blend this stuff give it the where, where anybody can match it in their room because I sell these pieces so um, if I can get it to match most all furniture it'll appeal to more people they can envision it fitting somewhere in their house okay so if you try to do too much at once a lot of times you'll start wetting the paint below it and you'll pull that paint off especially if it hasn't had a long curing time <clears throat> so with this piece of furniture we're getting a very subtle driftwood look not powerful not overbearing um, not super colorful just enough to give it a pretty realistic look with some browns coming through I'm going to continue this same exact process across the whole thing and then we're going to come back and take a look at the uh, initial part we started painting and add a little flavor to that okay so here's the top painted a little border around <coughs> painted around in white but not uh, I painted it so it would uh, bleed the uh, original color through a little bit giving it more of that driftwood look <coughs> and so you can take a look here and hopefully the colors will show up on the camera but this is probably how I'm going to leave it with this type of look you've seen how I've done that and so the next stage I'm going to move to is we're going to blend a little color into this uh, to hide any flaws with that white paint uh, and then we'll put some handles on it and then I'll probably wax it and she'll be good to go. All right, so take a look here. What I'm doing now is adding the, um, the weathered uh, driftwood look for the white portion here. So you can see original color was a cream yellow, then the white I brushed on and now I'm just using See this I'm just using this little bit of a fan brush and I'm just brushing it through to give it this look so uh, push it in I'm gonna clean off my brush pretty good I'm barely touching this and then watching how the streaks go and as it runs out of as it runs out of paint then I might drag it down a little harder on here so just barely running these streaks across here all it takes gives it this effect so these these bristles those ones that are spread out real good that really helps you know like if you use a if you use a brush if you use a brush with really uh, fine bristles it's going to apply the paint going to apply the paint in a way that looks that looks it starts covering everything and you don't want that you want it to look like wood grain to spread out so you know look from the top painted this you saw what it looked like before Paint a little white add some of the, the driftwoody effect into this like that and finish the entire thing only thing I need now is find some knobs and then uh, seal this with a sealant and we'll show you what it looks like when we get done.